Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to install Jellyfin on Open Media Vault 5. Now you may have seen a previous video where I showed how to install MB. Now Jellyfin is just the open source free version of MB. Uh, MB's got just a small monthly service fee if you want certain features. Jellyfin is a spinoff of that. So in this video, like I said, we're going to install Jellyfin in Open Media Vault uh, using Docker and Portainer here. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. This is actually a really, really easy install to do here. So if you saw my video on how to install MB, uh, you're going to notice that this is going to be almost identical, basically right down to everything except for the name. So we're going to go over here to hub.docker.com slash r slash Linux server slash Jellyfin. And I will have that link in the description down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to where it says Docker Compose. We're looking for this V2 schema here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that. And then we're gonna come back over to Portainer. We're gonna go into Stacks. We're gonna click on Add a Stack. Here you can see that MB is in there, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and click on Add Stack. We're just gonna paste in uh, what we copied from that other website. Uh, we're gonna name it Jellyfin, just like we did before. Um, and then we're just gonna kind of go through these lines here and we're going to um, edit them kind of one by one. So uh, the next thing we need to edit here is PUID and PGID. If you don't know what those are for your uh, system, uh, let's take a quick look at how to do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, we're gonna open up Putty. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna drag that from my bottom window to my top window and I'm gonna type in uh, my uh, server's IP address. I'm gonna log in as root. Now the user that we're looking for is the is the user we've got set up for Portainer here. Now all of my users are called admin. Uh, I just like to do that for, for simplicity for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in ID uh, admin and I'm gonna press enter. And here you can see the UID is 998 and the GID is 100. We're gonna translate that over from UID to PUID and GID to PGID. So I'm gonna change this to 998 and I'm just gonna delete one of those zeros to make it 100. Now the next line that we need here is the time zone. Uh, I'm in America, I'm close to Denver. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that, put that just like there. Uh, the umask underscore set, we can leave alone just like it is. Now, if we go down below that, we're gonna see volumes. And this is where we're going to actually have to go back to open Media Vault. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop these open kind of in two separate uh, side-by-side screens here. <clears throat> so what we're looking for first is the path to the configuration volume. And in order to get that, what we're going to do is go back over to Open Media Vault. We're going to go to uh, Shared Folders, um, and then we're going to look for a configuration folder. Now this has got all of the different configuration uh, folders for all of the different applications that I've installed on my server. So I'm just going to uh, right click right in here under Absolute Path. If you don't have Absolute Path, go over to any of these headers, click the drop down, go to Columns, and toggle Absolute Path on. Once you've got that, uh, you can right click, at least in Chrome, uh, and then you can just double click in there and copy that. Now we'll come back over here and we're just going to paste that in there, but we're going to do trailing with, uh, with Jellyfin. Forgot what I was doing for a moment there. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're gonna do kind of the same thing for these next couple of lines here. So we're gonna do one for TV shows, one for movies. Uh, I'm actually going to remove these last two lines. We don't necessarily need them, so they can go. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go to TV shows. Again, we're gonna right click. We're gonna go to inspect. We're gonna double click inside here and copy that. And then we're just gonna paste that right in here like so. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for movies, but I already know uh, what my movies path is. So I'm just going to type that in. Now, I've also got a folder for kids movies. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Uh, I'm going to drop down to another line. Uh, I'm going to type in uh, kids here uh, because we want to have that as an option and then kids here as well. And if we take another look, you can see that that is the same path uh, here and here. So next, we've got some ports that we need to have opened up. So the first port that it shows here is 8096. That's the default port. That's the port where you're going to access uh, Jellyfin on the server. Again, if you saw my MB video, you'll know that this is the exact same port. Again, this is an open uh, source version of MB. So that's why it's so similar. Just like we did in uh, the MB video, we're gonna go ahead and remove that secure port. We're not gonna use it. Also, these two devices, uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove those as well. And that's 
basically it. That's all we need to do uh, in order to uh, get the stack deployed so that we can have that container running. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on deploy stack. Uh, while that's doing its thing, uh, I'll just go ahead, full screen that. Uh, we'll give this just a second to load and do its thing. And then we'll go take a look in the containers. And then we'll actually go through the process of setting up Jellyfin to actually have uh, a link to all of our different libraries. Hey guys, quick interjection in the middle of this video. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of video, these tutorials, that kind of thing, do me a favor and subscribe. I've got lots of new videos coming out and you won't want to miss that if you're interested in this kind of content. So now let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so now that we are back to this screen, we can come over here to containers. Uh, we can look for this Jellyfin container here. Click on the little uh, logs file there and see. Uh, looks like everything there looks good. So what I'm gonna do is copy this and paste it over here. I'm gonna type in 8096, press enter. There we go. So now we're in the setup process. So here we'll select our default language. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna say uh, DB tech, I'm gonna give it a password. And of course, you'll enter uh, your relevant information here. So we're gonna add a media library here. I'm gonna say not now. Media library content type is gonna be movies, folders. We're just gonna come down here where it says data slash movies. We're gonna click okay. And then all of our download languages, we're just gonna go in and select whatever is relevant to us. Um, yours may be different than that, than what I'm putting in here. And that is just fine. I do wanna save all of this uh, in the relevant folders here. So we'll go ahead and I will do one for, let's do one for TV shows. We're gonna add a folder. We're gonna go data to TV shows here. I'm gonna say yes. Um, again, preferred language for me is English, country. Scroll all the way down. For me again, United States. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save artwork and chapter image extraction. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna do one more because I want one for uh, kids movies. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, manually, oops, I'm gonna manually type. Well, I thought I was gonna manually type. There we go. Uh, kids movies. And then we'll go ahead and click the plus, we'll go over here to uh, movies. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to data slash kids here. Click okay. Again, we're gonna select our uh, preferred language and our preferred country. We're gonna go ahead and check those boxes just like we did before. So now that we've got our three libraries here, you may have more, you wanna want to add music or photos or any of these other options that are available in here. Um, but I'm not gonna do any of that for right now. We're just gonna start with these three and I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Again, this is default, this is great for me. You can change this as you see necessary. Go ahead and click next again. Uh, I don't want any remote access. Uh, that's just how I want it. But if you do want remote access, you can set this up. You may have to manually port forward uh, port 8096 to go from the internet to your server, uh, but do that at your own discretion, uh, as long as you're willing to accept the uh, inherent security risks of opening ports. So with all of that done, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Great, we're done. I can click finish. So now it's gonna ask me to log in. So I'm gonna type in DB tech. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So here is the back end of my server. Uh, this is all fine, but what we're really looking for here uh, are these uh, folders that I set up for TV shows, movies, and kids' movies. If I open up kids' movies, there's Bambi. If I open up movies, there's uh, Army of Darkness and Captain America Civil War. And of course, for TV shows, we have Firefly. So uh, the next question you may have is, how do I add more media to my server? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and open up um, our uh, file explorer, this PC, my PC, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna do backslash, backslash. We're gonna type in the IP address of our server. In this case, mine's 1.236. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And here we can see I've got a configuration folder. Um, as I mentioned before, all of the applications have their own separate folder in here for a configuration folder. But what we're after here is say kids, movies, and TV. So all you gotta do is uh, drag whatever movies you want into the relevant folders or whatever TV shows. Uh, I always try to keep my TV shows kind of segregated in their own folders, but movies, TV shows, however you wanna do that, make sure that you've got uh, the right folders set up, drag the right media to the right place, and uh, MB, or in this case, Jellyfin, I guess, will go so far as to automatically index that almost instantly. 
Okay guys, there you go. There's how to install Jellyfin. Again, if you saw the video I did about MB, you'll notice that it's almost identical. So very, very simple process to set up and as many libraries as you want. Uh, and again, Jellyfin is just a free open source version of MB. So uh, if you're looking for something a little different than say MB or Plex, Jellyfin is a great way to go for your media server setup. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, it would help me out a bunch. And with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.